All right, guys, here's our issue for today. We got this Linux unit here, and apparently it's not heating properly. The customer says that it seems to be heating intermittently. One day it heats just fine, the next day it doesn't heat at all. So that's why I'm here. So what I've found out so far, just kind of walking around interviewing the manager, is that the dining room has two zone sensors and the thermostats are mounted in the office. Both thermostats for the dining room read above the set point. The actual temperature in the dining room is about 66, depending on where I tested it. And the thermostat is set to 88, or no, excuse me, a thermostat is set to 84 for this particular unit. And it, and the display temperature, or the temperature I believe the zone sensor is telling the thermostat is, is 88. So what I'm going to do first is just kind of visually inspect this unit. I'm going to check my heat exchanger because it's old. I'm going to come over here, check to see if I have a uh, W1 call. I'm going to check my belt. Basically, I'm going to make sure everything is mechanically sound before I really dive into the control side of things. All right. All right, we don't have any fault codes. I don't see anything that looks like it's been on fire, except for that manual. That's just rotten away because it's probably been sitting in water for 20 years. No, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. If we look over right over here, we do not have a call for W. I'll double check that in just a second. But if we did, our little W1 light, which is, I believe, the third one from the left, would have been lit up. But it's not. So, let's check our belt. There we go. All right, there is our blower assembly. Nothing crazy. Direct drive, little blower. So that looks all right. Let's go check our heat exchanger. Let's check this heat exchanger real quick. Hmm. Yeah, not the healthiest looking heat exchanger. That's for sure. Get my flashlight in there. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's cracked somewhere. All right, I'm gonna have to stick my head in there and start jamming rust spots on the screwdriver. See if we got any weak points here. All right, so my heat exchanger didn't have any physical cracks in it. However, as you saw, the condition is pretty bad, so I'm gonna recommend they replace it anyway. So what I'm doing now is just checking to see if I have a W1 call. I'm just checking W1 to common. Yeah, I don't have nothing, just as I suspected. So now, what we're gonna do, is just test it in heat mode. There we go, and we want, uh, we'll do H10. Now hold it down, and our heat should come on. There's our inducer.
we have ignition. I can hear our sparker has stopped, so it must have recognized the flame. We'll let that run for just a minute or two. Make sure it doesn't drop out. All right, so we're done testing our heat. Hold down this black button. The little decimal point goes away. Now I'm gonna push this shift dip switch to the left and then unit test to the left and then it should go back to its normal standby mode. All right, so the unit is mechanically sound. So now we need to figure out why our zone sensors are so far off. The dining room of this location was just recently remodeled. And what I've seen in the past is sometimes they'll move the zone sensors or forget to reattach them or they'll put them like up in the ceiling or hide them behind ice machines or crazy stuff like that. So that could be why our zone sensor in the dining room says it's 88 degrees when it's actually about 65. So let's go back downstairs and start tearing stuff apart and seeing what we can figure out. Alright, here's our zone sensor. There. Let me show you what the thermostats say. As you can see, our thermostat thinks that it's 94 degrees in the dining room. All right, real quick, guys. I am going to just ohm out this sensor, see if we're accurate at all. Online, I found a chart we can compare it to. We know the ambient temperature is 65, so it should be about 13,000 ohms. K ohms, so it's about 13,000, which is right about where we want it. Now I did verify that our thermostat is set up to read a zone sensor. I'm going to go back and double check my thermostat to make sure the calibration wasn't changed because we are about 20 degrees off of actual temperature versus what the display says in the office. All right, well, since we programmed the thermostat to properly read that zone sensor, our heat is kicked on and we're putting out about 93 degree air and rising. So we got about 72 degree air going back to the unit. So we're looking at about a 30 degree rise. Climbing up to 102. Yeah, this thing's working pretty good. All right, we're up to 123 degrees. Now this particular unit, temperature rise is 40 to 70. You can check out the data tag that I'll insert right here. So we can get up to about 140 degrees on this unit because we're pulling back 72 degree air. All right, looks like we leveled off about 140 degrees here. It is nice and hot. Hey, what's up YouTube? Just want to do a quick recap here. What we had was just a, a thermostat that was set to read a 20K ohm sensor. And apparently what we had on the wall was a 10K ohm sensor. Now in the manual for that 10K ohm sensor, or for that sensor anyway, 
there wasn't anything that really indicated how to tell if it's a 10k ohm sensor or a 20k ohm sensor i looked through the sensor manual as well as the honeywell thermostat manual i didn't see anything that indicated either way so if any of you guys watching this can tell me how to decipher between a 10k ohm sensor and a 20k ohm sensor please leave me a comment shoot me an email let me know um i don't really know why like i said I researched it, looked through the manual, couldn't find an exact reason why that sensor is a apparently a 10k ohm sensor because as you saw, when I have it set to 20k ohms, it reads way off. I said it's 10k ohms, it reads exactly right. So obviously it's set up to be a 10k ohm sensor. Now why that is, I don't know. But we got it fixed and uh, like I said, that heat exchanger on the rooftop unit you saw, it was it was pretty old, so I'm going to recommend they replace that. There was no separation, there was no cracks, so I didn't shut it down or anything like that, but I did explain to the manager that it's it's in rough shape, and uh, I'll be providing a quote for that as well. But other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here, head to my next call, and see what other kind of adventures I can get into for today, all right? So stick around. Maybe I'll see you on the next one, all right? Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for me too, will you?